So this is an example to it from a Saturday to a Saturday, focusing on the key areas of performance, starting with, like I mentioned earlier, the recovery phase. So typically uh, a pull recovery uh, is quite common with footballers. So doing some light movement to promote blood flow, but also ease back some range of motion. As we know, um, the most stressful physical stress and mental stress for a football point of view is on game day. So to try and restore some of that range of motion as the muscles tighten up from the from the physical and the, the stress of, of game day the, due to the sheer volume and high intensity of the game. Um, so it's to try and start that recovery process and to assist the body um, doing some light movement um, in a pool can help not only reduce swelling and inflammation that happens from the contact, um, but also uh, restore some of that mobility so you're better able to recover well early in the week and train with a bit more um, quality movement. Last week, we discussed recovery in more detail. So if you missed that presentation, make sure to hit me up. Um, we'll, we'll discuss the point system. This is just a general slide uh, that's very popular in the strength and conditioning world on how to accrue points and how to focus on the big rocks, so sleep and making sure you're getting sufficient calories. If you missed this presentation, make sure to hit me up and I'll send you the link. So starting with recovery, this is a general slide uh, and I like to break things down from a general population point of view. It doesn't mean that all general pop uh, doing these things, but just from a footballer's point of view, more from a uh, something to strive towards. So we've got gen pop, um, we've got community, then we've got state level, and then we've got the optimum, the AFL level. And it doesn't mean that AFL players are all doing these things. It's just a process to rank yourself and see where you currently are. And then an area that you need to focus on because you might be in the general pop area, but other areas you're more in a state level or an AFL level. Athletic development, also really, really important. So for those that are striving to be the best they can be, uh, yes, you are preparing for game day performance because that's how we're going to improve uh, our preparation. But also we want to be thinking about how can we be the best that we can be in the future too. So looking after our future self as an athlete, so that's where, from a lower body strength point of view, striving towards a strong squat and a strong deadlift hip hinge, a strong bench press, strong bench pull, and that's all relative to our body weight, so our power to weight ratio. From a conditioning point of view, our 2K time trial, percentage of pre-season that we complete, 